Hey everyone, it's Veronica. And how's it going? It's Anthony. And today we're going to be showing you a little bit more on what goes on at the Port of Long Beach. So let's go inside. Veronica, look at this place. You know, this is the command center at the Joint Command and Control Center. Have you been here before? No, I have never been here before, and I cannot believe just how many cameras are throughout the whole port area. It's honestly so mind-blowing, and to be more specific, they call this place the bird's eye, or the essentially the, the viewing point of the port because of how many cameras here. So we have over 500 cameras, and if you look at these screens over here, you know, all the vehicles and trucks that come in and out the port, you can zoom up to five miles from the, where the camera is stationed. And that makes sense because I know that JCCC has a vital role in making sure that all the imports and exports that go through the port are secure. Yeah, and you know, that's really important with all the agencies that we have here. So we have 30 plus federal, local, and state agencies with one of the agencies actually being Harbor Patrol. And what Harbor Patrol does is they're patrolling the port, making sure that the traffic flows in and out as smooth as possible. But we're actually gonna be jumping on one of the Harbor Patrol's cars later on today. So let's go. Let's go. Hi, Officer Sedeno. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. So why don't we start by you telling us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do. Cool, my name is Nicholas Sedeno. I'm a Long Beach Harbor Patrol. I've been here for the last six years. We actively patrol the Port of Long Beach. We're a 24-7 operation, and we act as a liaison between the Homeland Security and the Port of Long Beach. That's awesome. So what do you find most interesting about your job? One thing I find most interesting about my job is that we assist with the transportation of goods throughout the United States, and they actually go to all congressional districts. And by any chance, do you know how many that is? No, how many? 435. Wow. So that's like the whole country. Basically. <laughs> so where are we headed to next? We're headed to Fire Station 15. Let's go. go. So here we are at Fireboat Station 15, the home of the Fireboat, the Vigilance. I heard these fire boats can shoot as high as a 20-story building. And they can even shoot as far as two football fields. Yes, the fireboat, the Vigilance, along with our other fireboats, the Protector, are the most advanced fireboats in the world. And it's what the port needs as vessels continue to get bigger. But is it just fires that these boats can handle? Good question. No, they deal with more than just fire. They are fully equipped to deal with hazardous materials, various incidents, and other potential emergencies. Being ready for whatever can happen is critical, especially with the port itself being so large. It's nice knowing that we have these two state-of-the-art fireboats ready 24-7 just in case of an emergency. And in case you're wondering where the other boat is, the protector, that one's actually located at fireboat station number 20, and that one's gonna be in the inner harbor to help cover that side of the port. And like I said, being ready is what security is all about. That's why we have many partners, such as Long Beach Police Department, U.S. Customs, Homeland Security, the U.S. Coast Guard, and many more. Hundreds of highly trained individuals coordinate their efforts daily to protect not just the cargo, but all the people who work and live near the port. And that's what makes it such a great job. It's the port. They continuously invest in new technology and training. So we're really a part of an extraordinary team. I agree, and I think that our tagline, the port of choice, says it best. We really are committed to being the best port in the world. So today, we just learned about one of our operations, security. And if you want to learn more, make sure you check out some of our other tours. But for now, we have to get going and let Officer Sedeno get back to work. It's been a pleasure. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>